Hello, and you're welcome to uh, the Oracle of Cambodia's uh, review of the uh, AFF Suzuki Cup. The AFF Suzuki Cup kicked off last weekend at uh, two centers uh, in Myanmar and in Philippines. Uh, but of interest is that of the Cambodian team uh, taking part in Group B in Myanmar. And the match uh, was uh, the opening match came off with uh, Cambodia taking on Malaysia. Malaysia made hard work of Cambodia as they narrowly won 3-2 in a pulsating 2016 AFF Suzuki Cup Group B opener at Tuwana Stadium in Myanmar on Saturday afternoon. Midfielder Chan Vatanaka strikes with only seven minutes on the clock, sprinting clear of Malaysian defenders who were appealing for offside before beating goalkeeper Karul Fami and slotting into an empty net. Just before the break, left winger Suazon Zainon brings a high ball down on the left flank, then cuts in past Ismaka with a nifty turn and beats a drive diving Suyati with a bouncing shot that nestles into the far corner of the net. On the hour mark, Kupri's golden boy. Vatanaka restored their one goal lead with a world class finish. After controlling a lofted pass from Kao Sok Pen, he beat his marker Kairul Fami with relative ease, engineered some space, and smashed a left footed drive into the bottom corner beyond the goalkeeper. However, the slender lead lasted just 10 minutes when Malaysia's inspirational captain, Amri Yaya, came to rescue his side. After a clever cut back from Ahmad Amzan Bakri, Yaya finished from point blank range to pull Malaysia back into the game. For the first time of the Group B opener, the skipper gave his side the lead with a crisp finish 10 minutes before time, after running onto a well-timed true ball just inside the area. Malaysia moved top of the group temporarily with host Myanmar and Cambodia still to play. Meanwhile, Myanmar national team coach Gad Ziz hinted that there will be changes to his starting lineup before facing Cambodia tomorrow following the White Angels' disappointing 2 1 loss to Vietnam in their opening AFF Suzuki Cup Group B match on November 20. Against a seasoned Vietnam squad, ZC showed the same lineup deployed in recent friendlies against Indonesia and Oman, in which the White Angels failed to score. He was disappointed in particular by the performance of midfielder Yeko and striker Wing Nang So, and also condemned the recent addition Kaung Sat Nang who was called up as a replacement for national team star Kwa Koko. Myanmar struggled to find their form in the first half as the retooled striking line continued to make its absence felt. Meanwhile, Vietnam steadily controlled the game flow with Nguyen Van Ku yet converting their first goal in the 24th minute on a neat 1-2 set up by Trong Lung Xuan after Ye Ko's misstep. Vietnam went on to win the match 2-1 and Coach Ziz in his post-match reaction admitted that his side defeated themselves pointing out that they made a lot of mistakes, particularly in the first half. Both teams really came together in the second half, though he hopes his side will apply that second half performance against Cambodia on Wednesday. The coach no doubt is wary of Cambodia's threat despite not being a favorite in Group B and has called for his players to be careful. 
Cambodia lost their opening match to Malaysia 3-2, but rolled through Laos, Brunei, and Timor-Leste to clinch the last spot in the tournament. They dropped recent friendlies to Singapore and Hong Kong, but trashed Sri Lanka last month 4-0. The White Angels will lead a strong showing from their modified lineup tomorrow if they hope to advance from the group stage, as they will face Malaysia tipped for the group's runners up spot in their final group match on November 26. Vietnam will face Malaysia at 3 p.m. tomorrow before Myanmar plays Cambodia at 6 p.m. Both matches will be played at Yagun's Tung Wan Na. YTC Stadium. Well, we do hope that coach Lee Tai Oon's side will be able to replicate the form they have exhibited in recent time and go through, go past Myanmar. Definitely they will be playing against uh, their, their own farms, against the, 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 the strong uh, Myanmar side, but obviously they could really come off with a much needed win if they have any chance to advance into the next round. It's Ken Gaddafi right here on the Oracle of Cambodia's push-up.